In the film Les Miserables, Jean Valjean is a convict who's endured hard labor for many years. He is set free, but as a convict, he wanders from place to place and is completely rejected. And then he stumbles into the house of an old holy bishop who welcomes Jean Valjean, this escaped convict, as if he would welcome Christ himself into his own home. Valjean, poor and hungry, steals in the middle of the night all of the valuables in the house and leaves. He is caught by the authorities and brought back to the bishop. But the bishop says to the authorities with a glowing face of charity that Jean Valjean has forgotten the most valuable things, the candlesticks from the dining room set. With this beautiful act of tender charity and kindness, the holy bishop sets free Jean Valjean for his new destiny. Valjean rediscovers hope, meaning, and purpose in his life, and he makes incredible contributions of charity to every person he meets. And then we see how the holy bishop sets Valjean free with this kindness, and then at the end of the movie, that beautiful scene where Jean Valjean is with Marius and Cosette, and he dies, and Fantine gently welcomes him into eternal life. Valjean, the soul of Valjean, stands up and walks by his dead body, and he sees the face of the holy bishop surrounded by luminous candlelight. And that holy bishop welcomes him and escorts him into heaven. There are beautiful resonances between the spirit of this holy bishop who sees the face of Christ in the poorest of the poor, as Hugo would say, les miserables, and the beautiful spirit of our holy father, Pope Francis. Just as the holy bishop in Les Miserables, reaches out to this escaped convict, the poorest of the poor, so too does Pope Francis ask you and I to move through the soap bubble of consumerism, egoism, and global indifference, and to see the face of Jesus Christ in the poor. In the words of Les Miserables, to love another person, especially a poorest person, is to see the face of God.